Hi, my name is uh, Josh Malik. Um, yeah, it's been a while since I've done any uh, video updates and any uh, music. Um, so I have uh, actually uh, recorded a few songs, but um, I just haven't uh, got around uh, to the fruition of uh, uh, bringing them about because I've been un undergoing uh, some uh, recent healing and uh, readjustments uh, with my skeletal frame, um, etc. Um, but yeah, so still fighting the uh, good fight. i um, uh, been involved in a fairly uh, a fair few uh, different uh, uh, conflicts, but uh, I'm um, always uh, fighting uh, for the uh, children of light and uh, uh, the angelic forces and uh, the forces of heaven and um, and always uh, looking to uh, bring about peace uh, in my life and uh, whatnot. Um, but uh, yes, I thought I would uh, share some uh, recent uh, interesting uh, stigmatas uh, that I experienced in uh, slightly uh, supernatural events, even even though uh, su uh, the supernatural is a regular part of my life. Um, I, I regularly uh, am involved in that. And um, But yeah, so... Um, yeah, when I was young, um, yeah, I'm pretty much uh, a bastard uh, child because uh, uh, my uh, grandmother, uh, I think, uh, uh, was with my uh, my father. Um, so the parents I was raised by, um, I was actually raised by my half sister, uh, and then my actual father, and then yeah, there might have been uh, some uh, uh, genetic uh, aberrations uh, as well uh, within that. Um, but uh, um, yeah, I think that uh, when I was uh, still in the womb, uh, they had uh, decided that they wanted to have an abortion. Um, so I did uh, survive that, and then um, and then as uh, growing up, I did have uh, a few more um, uh, serious uh, ailments and uh, conflicts. Um, like uh, when I was four, yeah, I, w I do uh, recall that I was uh, driven out, and unfortunately I was uh, molested uh, uh, as a child um, uh, when I was four. But uh, never con continued after that. Um, but I thought, uh, yeah, it seemed like uh, the reason they did it when I was four uh, was because uh, they figured I wouldn't uh, remember. Um, but uh, then, yeah, I did uh, survive uh, an abduction attempt uh, when I was about six um, after school. And um, so it was when I told my mom about that, or who was my half-sister uh, raising me, um, that's when I uh, she gave me the stink eye. And um, from then, uh, from that point on, uh, when I was about 11, I guess it was on, um, that they uh, they became uh, concerned that uh, I would talk about it. And uh, a long uh, conflict ensued. Um, so I thought I would mention that because um, yeah, a lot of uh, people were drawn into that conflict over the years. And now, now at this point, um, people don't uh, truly understand uh, where it stemmed from, but I guess it doesn't uh, matter at this time, because uh, I just fight uh, the good fight, and I am uh, a sort of a, a Nazarite of sorts. So, um, yeah, I do fight uh, similar to a Nazarite, a biblical Nazarite. But yeah, so the, the main uh, damage that I uh, uh, obtained, though as a child, was actually self-inflicted. Uh, because when I was uh, five years old, um, during a soccer uh, match or soccer practice, I think it was, I attempted to do a backflip, and, um, and then when I, I made it upside down, but uh, I got scared upside down and landed on my head, and so that uh, pushed my head uh, into my uh, torso. Uh, my whole entire spine went into my torso, and then I, I, a part of my bones um, uh, stabbed into my heart uh, from that point. So I, um, yeah, I, I guess I sacrificed myself as a, as a young child. And um, so I went, uh, as a result of this, it was almost like um, a stopper of my uh, head had been pushed in my whole life, so the fluids didn't quite uh, reach my head, uh, which caused me to always have kind of a, a strange uh, boyish appearance. Um, so I had mentioned before that I thought that uh, maybe I had some sort of uh, mental uh, deficiency, and I'm not sure if I did, but uh, that uh, was actually uh, an accident that I uh, had. Um, so the reason that I'm mentioning it now is because I didn't actually uh, fully uh, remember it. Uh, until uh, recently, so it was about a month and a half ago, um, that I, I was uh, lamenting uh, with myself, and then I, I remembered when I had landed on my head, and um, and then I started uh, looking into it, and I read um, about uh, Luke chapter six, uh, verse uh, six to eleven, uh, where it states that the, the crippled man has a crippled hand, and and Jesus says to uh, stretch out his hand, and then it uh, gets healed, and it fills out uh, to the way it's regularly supposed to be. So. Um, so I laid down uh, in my bed and grabbed myself by the head and started doing uh, pulling exercises. And first I felt a uh, strong crunching and then a, a rip in my heart as if a bone was being pulled out of my heart. And then um, from there it uh, affected my sciatica and lower uh, lower uh, back, lower spine. Um, so yeah, I must have gained an inch or, or a half an inch in height uh, with that. And then I do believe now by this point uh, the, the wounds healed. Uh, that was the laceration that was uh, reopened in my heart. So I went my so I went 30 years uh, with my head stopper pushed in, and uh, so yeah I guess I lost 30 years of uh, uh, full development, uh, full head development, but um, 
but yeah, since I've uh, pulled it back out, um, I have uh, felt uh, full blood uh, uh, pressure uh, uh, resume uh, within my brain. And, um, and then I have been taking uh, a certain uh, mushrooms, uh, legal uh, supplemental mushrooms and funguses and uh, to help uh, regrow my um, uh, brain neurons. Um, and then um, and then I've always, uh, uh, so was uh, fairly smart, but uh, I guess, I, I, so as to whether my head will uh, uh, continue uh, growing, um, I guess I'll find out. But yeah, I did uh, uh, miss out on 30 years of that, um, which is why I have a, a bit of a boyish uh, appearance. Um, so it wasn't a uh, soft brain as I previously thought, but uh, a head injury that uh, uh, caused uh, the fluids in my body to not uh, fully reach my brain. So yeah, this all happened um, about a month and a half ago, and um, um, uh, so with that, um, I, I had decided that I was going to apply uh, to join the military. Um, so uh, the day I applied, I uh, called them and uh, had an interview on the phone, and um, in that day I saw um, uh, an interesting uh, thing in the sky that I thought I saw as a uh, confirmation um, that um, that was the right path for me because uh, like uh, it was a, an unusual uh, sky formation and um, and so with that I thought uh, I was uh, feeling pretty high because uh, uh, high on life because um, I had fixed my uh, uh, skull um, so the blood uh, was circulating better in my head and then I applied to the uh, the military and um, and then I watched uh, I thought I'd uh, relax and watch a movie that night. And I watched uh, the nun uh, for the first time, and um, and then yeah, I saw this um, uh, clip uh, in the nun, which was uh, exact uh, mimic of uh, what I saw in the sky. Um, so yeah, so that was uh, certainly uh, a spooky uh, occurrence. But uh, um, yeah, I noticed uh, a, a strange stigmata things like this um, happen uh, quite often, or not quite often uh, to this extent. But um, I am always uh, one foot uh, in the physical realm and one foot uh, one foot in the spiritual realm. So I've been um, uh, studying uh, uh, various uh, verses in the Bible, and um, and uh, reformulating myself, and uh, working uh, towards uh, God's plan uh, for my life and uh, uh, for the world. And um, and yeah, I do believe uh, great things are happening uh, for everyone involved. And um, and yeah, if you uh, focus on uh, uh, the forces of heaven, um, uh, things will turn up for you. Um, I think uh, 400 years ago it uh, required a, a larger extent of faith, um, but uh, nowadays um, it's. Um, uh, only the truly foolish would not believe uh, in the the kingdom of heaven because it's uh, it is uh, sci scientific and uh, technology based. Um, so you'd have to kind of you'd just have to be a, a complete fool uh, to uh, deny uh, what you can see uh, just by watching a superhero movie um, with uh, technology and uh, and uh, occurrences like that. So I'm going to continue uh, making um, uh, uh, some more uh, drum videos. I have uh, recorded uh, four songs, but uh, I'll probably uh, reduce some more. And, um, and then I have uh, recently uh, I'm actually spoken with because uh, um, uh, one of the members of uh, uh, Led Zeppelin was uh, speaking with uh, their fans and I, I happened to uh, uh, speak with uh, uh, Robert Plant and, um, and show, I got to show him uh, some of my videos and uh, uh, he said uh, uh, they're uh, quite good and uh, um, so uh, you never know I might be able to uh, do some uh, professional drumming. Um, I'm uh, currently still uh, healing uh, from yeah, my injury from, it's crazy to say, 30 years ago. Um, but then have uh, taken a lot of beating uh, since then. I've been in a lot of fights, and um, but uh, yeah, I'm back uh, working out. I've been working out for a couple of months now, so uh, I'm back uh, to pretty good uh, strength. And uh, for the first time now, as I mentioned, got my head straight on my shoulders, and so I will proceed with that. So yeah, it's, um, uh, one uh, interesting thing I discovered uh, while reading uh, the Bible on that uh, I found to be quite surprising is that um, my last name originally was Delaney, uh, Joshua James Delaney, and I had uh, I was uh, going to the mosque at the time, and um, I changed uh, that was like um, I don't, yeah, probably like seven years ago, and I had uh, changed my name uh, to uh, Malik, my last name Malik, and um, and uh, then my middle name was uh, changed that to uh, Kinnatos. And uh, so my uh, middle initial would have been A, A, and then last name Malik. Um, so I was uh, quite surprised uh, reading through the Bible to uh, find uh, uh, my name written in the Bible in uh, within one verse. Um, so yeah, the verse that I saw uh, was uh, then Amalek came and fought with Israel at Raphidim. So Moses said to Joshua, "Choose for us men and go out and fight with Amalek. Tomorrow I will stand on top of the hill with the staff of God." in my hand. 
So yeah, at the time when I had changed my last name to Malik, I thought in my mind that I would be taking that name on while fighting uh, in wars because I had already been, uh, yeah, I've always uh, been in conflicts of sorts. As I mentioned, it uh, pretty well started even when I was in the womb, um, surviving uh, abortion and then um, surviving attacks uh, when I was uh, four years old and then all the way, uh, then six years old again. And then, as I've mentioned, yeah, the worst um, uh, damage I uh, suffered was by my own hand uh, when I uh, broke my head and landed on my head. So another um, epiphany I had came, uh, came across while re uh, reading uh, through Revelation, because um, I was uh, lamenting on how uh, it seemed like uh, a portion of the waters had been uh, poisoned. And uh, uh, so I was uh, looking into Wormwood and uh, seeing uh, when this all uh, takes place, because uh, um, because uh, when, you're, when you're dealing with uh, a, a terrorist uh, type people, uh, even uh, such thing as Christian terrorists, um, the first thing they would do is try and poison the water. So uh, I'm not sure whether uh, the gods uh, bring about uh, poisoning um, or whether it's uh, people uh, trying to follow the book of Revelation um, and poison a third of the waters. But uh, uh, in reading uh, the book of Revelation, um, I came up, uh, across the epiphany that uh, um, in Revelation uh, 10, uh, verse 8 to 9, um, it said, and the voice which I heard from heaven spake unto me again, and said, Go and take the little book which is open in the hand of the angel which standeth upon the sea and upon the earth. And I went unto the angel and said unto him, Give me the little book. And he said unto me, Take it and eat it, and it shall make thy belly bitter, but it shall be in thy mouth sweet as honey. Um, so with this uh, passage, um, the first book that came to my mind uh, was the uh, Quran. Um, uh, thinking that uh, so the Quran is mentioned in, in the Bible and um, uh, so uh, looking back at the other verse uh, where it says uh, uh, Joshua um, uh, fight with Amalek um, some people uh, look at that in the Bible as Joshua fighting against Amalek um, but otherwise it uh, can mean that uh, it's just the forces that uh, believe in God uh, will fight together against uh, the heathens and it's not about uh, going out and uh, hunting people just because you think they're heathen um, uh, it's when they attack you first um, then, then you got a good reason for it and then, um, uh, and yeah, so as for that Amalek uh, verse, um, that was Exodus uh, uh, chapter 17, uh, verse 8 to 9. And then, um, and then the other uh, verse I read also in Revelation was uh, uh, Revelation 11, uh, verse 8 to 9. And, um, and it stated, And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city, which spiritually is called Sodom and, and Egypt, where also our Lord was crucified. And they of the people and kindreds and tongues and nations shall see their dead bodies three days and a half, and shall not suffer their dead bodies to be put in graves. And after three days the Spirit of life from God entered into them, and they stood upon their feet, and great fear fell upon them which saw them. Then they heard a great voice from heaven, saying unto them, Come up hither. And they ascended up to heaven in a cloud, and their enemies beheld them. Yeah, so um, and in some places the Bible it uh, refers to uh, uh, like a one day equaling equaling like a thousand days. Um, so uh, when it states uh, three and a half years, um, it could mean uh, three thousand five hundred years, uh, because um, it was uh, fifteen hundred BC um, uh, where the uh, the pharaohs of Egypt um, had passed and were uh, placed in their tombs, and um, and then uh, with that. In those uh, 3,500 years, uh, the, the bodies were exhumed and placed in museums where uh, people uh, went and looked at their dead bodies. And so it, uh, and it also said that they were covered in sackcloth, so um, the mummies were uh, wrapped in sackcloth, were they not? And so essentially uh, the mummies were uh, viewed through the, the looking panes at the museum. And then um, when we came to this time, um, uh, their DNA was uh, brought back uh, uh, via cloning and, um, and probably mixed with uh, some current uh, human um, uh, families, um, so um, essentially uh, it could be uh, the Bible um, or the book of Revelation uh, becoming a real reality at this time. So yeah, I've taken a, a, recent, or a bit of a recent uh, beating as well. Um, I'm always uh, taking stuff like I've uh, described uh, uh, neuro uh, uh, poisons in my life, uh, neuro attacks, uh, neurotoxins and uh, uh, fair, uh, other uh, types of poisonings and uh, attacks, so it is uh, a fairly common thing for me. Um, but um, uh, essentially, um, yes, yeah, so hopefully I can still uh, proceed with my uh, uh, movement uh, into the military or otherwise uh, I'll work with them uh, as a contractor. Um, but um, yeah, I have uh, come across places I'd like to uh, visit 
uh, in the world and uh, see. So I hope to uh, proceed with that. And otherwise, uh, for the music, I will uh, continue uh, playing the drums, still have the drums going. Um, and then I'm still getting my health uh, back in order. Um, so hope to uh, play some more uh, music and uh, continue fighting the good fight and uh, being a good uh, servant of God.